hi Jessica welcome back to the channel so today's video is about um, the new Maybelline 24-hour foundation and yeah so it claims to be 24 hours like I stated so we will see that today okay we'll try that and see if it's actually 24-hour um, lasting foundation but first before we get started guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to comment down below any type of video you like me to do next and make sure you do follow me on all my social media platforms that's instagram twitter and snapchat and i'll put it somewhere right here it's at just in love and i'll put it, also put it in the description box down below and do make sure you turn on your notification bell if it's not turned on so you can go notify whenever I upload a video. And yes, let's get right into this video, shall we? So this foundation claims to be 24 hour foundation, right? So let's see. And I have Mocha 360. That's my shade. Because I normally use this one, the 360, for the regular Fit Me foundation. So I figured this one will also be 360. But let's go over the details on this foundation. So it says, I'm looking down because I'm reading. It says it's full coverage foundation. I have so many dark spots. Well, let's see if we will cover that, huh? It says it's um, up to 24 hours wear. Seamless matte finish. Okay. Um, breathable and comfortable. Let's see. Normally the foundation are breathable and comfortable, but let's see. Uh, fade and transfer resistant. Who? We're gonna try all this. Oil free, doesn't clog pores. Dermatologist tested. Yeah, that's all it says. So it's full coverage. Okay. Super stay, right? So it should stay. So what I'm gonna do is I'll put this one. Let me open it. I never tried it before. Oh, snap. He has a popping thing on it. That's cool. So I'll be using my Dem Beauty Blender on one side to apply this foundation and my over brush on the other side to see which one will actually give you a good full coverage. And yes, I'll, on my way, I'm on my way out to the dentist then I have to go to work. And I get off pretty late so I'll have this foundation on my face for literally the whole day. So I'll come back and tell you guys what I think about it like later on when I'm done like running some errands and going to work for the day okay so first let me pump some let me put my becca primer oh and i'm gonna put my because this literally goes a long way for this foundation and i like putting on my t-zone even more because that's where I really get oily pretty fast. Okay. I'm not going to put any color corrector because it claims to be full coverage. Let's see how that goes. First, I'm just going to put one pump. Two pump. That should be enough. Actually, that's more than enough. I should just put one pump, and I will use my beauty blender to get some of the product of this, and I and use it when I will be applying on the other side. Cause two pump was a bit too much. Okay, so I do half of my face. Oh, this does cover. Y'all see that? There's the coverage. Big coverage, actually. Ooh. Y'all already know I leave for Maybelline Foundation. I'm guessing I got a new fave in for the month. From Maybelline. This is crazy. I didn't even put any color correct or anything. This is technically one pump because I, I put some more on the sponge. Now let me just add like one pump and a half, let's say, because this could be half a pump. Now let me add one pump. So that's going to be one pump and a half. So totally three pumps. Let's see how 
covered RV with only three pumps. Okay. I'm not going to apply my foundation with a sponge, so. And I'm not left handed. So let me switch to my right hand. That's where I work better. I see that, um, just like I thought. Uh, there's more coverage on this side than that side. For a fact, so I'll be using my over sponge to go one more with one more pump all over the face. So you guys already know not to use a sponge or a beauty blender to apply um, this foundation because the beauty blend blender pretty much sucks the foundation in. I suppose of you know putting all over the face so I'll go in with this for the full face especially on this side and as you guys could tell by the you know by my face when I started the video my eyebrows and slight um eyeshadow was already done so I'm not going to do too much on this tutorial. So, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. The coverage, I love it. This is pretty good. So, it takes about, um, it takes about, hmm, because the Beauty Blender sucked a lot of the product. I think it takes about three to four um, pumps to have a full covered face and um, it looks matte already so I'm liking it. Looks matte already so yeah so the cover is pretty good. Let's continue with the face and I'll come back to you guys when I'm done. So guys, this is how we wear my makeup for today, and it is now 10:20 a.m. I will come back and show you guys how it looks later on tonight. And yes, guys, hopefully you guys like this video, and if you did, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below any type of video you like to see next. And I'll see you guys when I come back with the final final review on what I think about the foundation. Yes, guys, see ya. So hi guys, I'm back and it is now 10.36 So this is technically the foundation, how it looks after 12 hours We no touch up whatsoever You guys can already see, I didn't even apply um, the lipstick back on when it came off because I was at work So I just like used my little um, lip balm just to moisturize my lips, but that's about it So this is how the makeup looks after wearing it for over 12 hours and I think it did a really good job because I feel like if I was to touch it up like for instance okay if I was to use my powder brush and like use my um, Neutrogena Shine Control Rise Protein if I was to it's kind of all crushed and broken so if I was to just dab a little bit under my powder brush and like look at my mirror and like touch up my t-zone area like so I feel like the makeup will still look popping you know so with zero touch up I feel like this foundation did pretty well so yeah that's what I feel like so you see, it took it's taking off like 
the shine on the face and you can use this powder even though it's white once it touches your skin it really blends in so I think this foundation the coverage is buildable so the more the more you put the more coverage you get and I feel like it would last you a good number of hours but not not up to 24 I don't think but I feel like this will last you up to about 20 hours also of coverage if you're you're not so oily as me and if you do touch up dirt throughout the day this cover will definitely last you over 24 hours because as you guys can see i just showed you guys how i came back on camera and i also showed you guys what it looks like if i was to touch it up a little bit with my powder um my shine control powder so yes guys this is it for today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like this video make sure you also comment down below any type of video you like me to do next and also if you enjoy videos like this me testing our product and giving you guys my review make sure you also comment down below more review videos and yes guys thank you so much for all my new subscribers the g squad is growing and i'm so excited 2018 is our year don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed because we're having a huge 5,000 subscriber giveaway coming up real real soon hopefully by my birthday which is march 6th hopefully by then we already reached the goal which is 5,000 subscribers so we can have a 5,000 subscriber giveaway and yes guys make sure you share this video with your friend your enemy everybody you know and yes i love you guys so so much and Make sure your bell is, turn, is turned on so you can get notified whenever I upload a video. And also follow me on all my social media platforms that's Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I just need love. I'll put it somewhere here on the screen. And it will also be definitely in the description box down below. So make sure you check it out for your convenience. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.